So I recently downloaded the second beta of iOS 17 on my backup iPhone and it's been pretty similar for the most part. I believe there were some airdrop changes, but yeah, small tweaks here and there for the most part. However, the big change with this beta for me was the fact Apple's adjusted the settings when it comes to haptic touch. So yes, in case you weren't aware, haptic touch was introduced to replace 3D touch and it really was nowhere near as good. Yes, I know generally Apple's haptics are fantastic, but of course, when it comes to recognizing a short press or a long press, 3D touch was unmatched in this department and haptic touch was so much worse. And by the way, would like to remind you guys, like this video and subscribe for more content like this it would be appreciated. Now, personally, this did not bother me that much because ultimately Apple gave us much bigger batteries inside by getting rid of 3D Touch. But of course, there are consumers missing this. And while the second beta of iOS 17 might have fixed things for the most part. So right now on iOS 16, there is only two settings, fast and slow haptic touch and fast haptic touch was really not that fast to be honest, but thankfully guys, with this new beta, Apple has changed the fast option and I can now confidently say it's on par with 3D Touch. Here's a comparison for you guys and you can see how much faster it is. And so yes, I'm definitely going to be using haptic touch more often because it works so well. Really, the only thing I'm missing now is the fact I can't press anywhere on the keyboard to move the cursor, but apart from that, guys, Apple has brought back 3D Touch for the most part. And to be fair, pressing on the space bar to move the cursor is not that big of an issue. I've got used to it because we have not had 3D Touch iPhones for years. And so, yes, for those still using the iPhone XS and the XS Max, which are now the only supported devices that have 3D Touch, you can confidently upgrade now and get that same experience with a newer iPhone. So yeah, I thought I'd make a short video regarding this, but tell me your thoughts in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Apple content like this. And thank you for watching.